All right, if you're watching this video, chances are you're sitting on the side of the road right now, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Your spare tire in your Toyota 4Runner, this is for fourth gens and fifth gens, is located underneath the rear trunk, the rear of the vehicle. All of the tools that you need, including the jack, are stored in the driver's side compartment in the cargo area here. Just undo the two clips, you can pop the door open, and you're, you'll have a leather pouch with all your tools, and the jack as well. You can just twist the jack loose and it'll pop out. Inside the pouch, you're gonna have a lug nut wrench and a handle with a hook on it, that is to connect to the jack for raising and lowering it. And then you're gonna have three rods that are meant for lowering the spare tire. So the two long ones, the two long straight ones, connect to each other. And there's a little Phillips head screw that you can even use to tighten them up together to make them one. And then we have this sort of L-shaped bracket. That's your handle for cranking with. Now there's a little hole right beside the, the door latch here. And you're gonna wanna put the rod on an angle to connect to the actual mechanism inside there. And when it connects, you'll feel it kind of engage. You'll know that you're connected to it properly. Then you can grab your L-shaped rod with the L pointed away from the vehicle because you don't want it to spin and, and, and scratch your bumper and start turning counterclockwise. Lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. And you'll see your spare tire start dropping down towards the ground. And a little trick that I have for you is I like to continue cranking after it's already on the ground just to get a whole bunch of slack in that chain. This will save you some time from trial and error. Uh, just do a whole bunch extra and that'll allow you to actually grab the tire and slide it towards you instead of trying to work on it underneath the vehicle. You'll see that there's a bracket that is hooked into the back face of the wheel. That's what holds it up tight to the truck. And in order to get this out, you want to just loosen it down, flip it up, pivot it up so that it slides through the hole of the, the hub of the wheel. And then you can just slide your spare tire out. As you can see, mine hasn't been cleaned in a little while. And that's all there is to it. Uh, put it all back in there is literally just the reverse. Same concept, just line up the, the little pins on that bracket into two of the holes for the lug nuts in the wheel and crank it back up. Hope that helps you guys and stay tuned for more Forerunner and Tacoma videos in the future. See you.